How to define boundary condition for transversely isotropic properties presented by applied and theoretical mechanics lab of IIT in case of uniaxial tension. BNNT's bottom end in axial direction was fully constrained, while at the top end the constant speed was applied to simulate an incremental displacement. Young's modulus of a BNNT was calculated from the initial slope of the stress strain curve and the deformation energy density elastic constant relation. In case of twisting moment, the atoms at its bottom end were fixed and at the top end, the constant rotation was applied. All atoms were constrained radially in the transverse plane to maintain them on the cylindrical surface of a BNNT in case of the twisting condition. The strain energy density of a BNNT can be expressed by a given relation. An nanotube was subjected to a two-dimensional plane strain condition. In addition, to satisfy the plane strain condition, two ends of a BNNT were constrained in the axial direction so that its length remains unchanged. The plane strain bulk modulus of a nanotube can be obtained using a given relation. An nanotube was subjected to in plane pure shear at small strains in such way that its circular cross sectional shape deforms into an elliptical shape. It is achieved by constraining the two ends of a nanotube axially. Then, following the similar steps as adopted in case of plane strain bulk's modulus, the in plane shear modulus can be determined using the given relation. For the detailed study of transversely isotropic property investigate by Kundawil and Choil. You can refer this paper.